I will not only share with you my opinion about Ever Solo streamers A6, A6 Master Edition and A8, and not only that, you will also be able to hear the differences yourself between those streamers and I took the recording using my high-end recording setup. I first received Ever Solo A6 and A6 Master Edition. I turned them on, connected them and right away I knew one thing. Ever Solo A6 Master Edition is way, way better than the standard one. The price difference is definitely smaller than the quality difference. So if you are thinking about either or the Ever Solo A6 or Ever Solo A6 Master Edition, go for the Master Edition. I'm using external DAC via USB. First, I tested the Ever Solo only as a streamers and switching between A6 and A6 Master Edition was no brainer at all. Basically, A6, even just as a digital streamer, had way better presence, way better depth, sound stage was deeper and wider and vocals were richer, more natural and more organic. So, if you're thinking about two of those, get the Master Edition, it's definitely worth it. When I switched to the internal ducks, they are okay, they're very good starter ducks. So if you just want to get the device, use it as a duck as well, and then upgrade later on, go ahead, do that. And as I said before, if you can get the Master Edition, do that, you will be very happy. Now let's start first part of listening session. What you will hear is comparison between Ever Solo A6 and Ever Solo A6 Master Edition using USB port to output the raw digital data to the VICE 204 DAC and we are using FOSI ZA3 amplifiers in dual mono mode and Qualio IQ semi-open buffer loudspeakers with a decent pair of headphones or earplugs you will be easily able to hear the differences. So, let's go! Goes my heart again. All this time I thought we were pretending. Nothing looks the same when your eyes are open. Now you're playing these games, keep my heart beats spinning. You show me love, you show me love, you show me everything my heart is capable of. You shape me like butterfly origami You have broken into 
my heart This time I feel the blues have departed Nothing can keep me away from the speed I know I am simply falling There was fire burning in his eyes Chaos that controlled my mind Whisper goodbye and he got on a play He never told me time again But always, always in his heart Keep him coming every night So hard to keep him satisfied I can't play in love Like it was just a game And every day any To feel the same that you turn Could you hear the change between the streamers? There's this difference in a size of a soundstage And its depth and the richness And as I said before Master Edition definitely works for me. Okay, so now we have it solved. Master Edition over the A6. So I purchased the Ever Solo A6 Master Edition for myself and I'm very happy with it. So when I had a chance to listen to the Ever Solo A8, I felt like, okay, if I like it more, I will definitely upgrade to the A8. So what are my conclusions when I compared those two? Even as a streamers going through USB to the Vice DAC 204, I heard that the A8 is wider in sounding. However, it's like less precision when it comes to placement of the instruments. Everything was a little bit blurred. And A6 Master Edition was quite more narrow and more pinpointy. For some of you guys, the A8 might be better if that's what you're looking for. What I also heard is that the A8 is brighter, it's more detailed, and for me, it's a little bit too detailed. Because at least in my system, 
it was not a clear resolution. It's a little bit more digital, I'd say. With A6 Master Edition, you've got this analog, colorful, rich vocals and everything's more, more organic. And the A8, it's wider, but I had a feeling like it's a little bit more artificial, not as natural as the A6. One more thing that I noticed is the impact. For example, the piano on the A6 Master Edition is bigger, it's more defined than with A8. So if you look for the punchiness, for the attack, the Master Edition A6 does it better and I'd say more than the more refined and relaxed A8. So now let's check how they sound on the same system. We are using the streamers purely as a streamers and we go via USB to the DAC. Good morning Is what she said Sweet candy Before we get out of bed And good loving To brighten up the day Just a little something To get you on your way It's a beautiful life When you love another A beautiful life When you rediscover A pleasant surprise When you open your eyes And it feels like the first time It's a beautiful Beautiful life Cool water Is running Okay, have you heard the differences that I told about? And now let's go to the internal built-in ducts for the A6 Master Edition and A8. In my opinion, the situation is very similar in here. With Eversolo A8, you've got bigger sound stage, the sound is probably maybe better balanced, but I still feel like, at least for me, the a6 Master Edition is more immersive and natural and when I hear the vocals, because I always like to do my most critical listening on vocals, listening if I can imagine myself having the singer here in the room. And in that, the A6 Master Edition works better for me. Of course, remember that 
The Qualio IQ loudspeakers are very open, dynamic, holographic, and they are very natural. So when you match it with Vice 204 DAC, which is also very open, dynamic, and natural sounding with great holography and impact, I don't need to add those features from the streamer and the DAC itself. If your system is more relaxed and you need to bring more life to it, probably A6 might be a better option. However, if you have very well balanced system that is open, natural, and you don't need to spread it additionally with streamer, then I would definitely go for the A6 Master Edition. So now let's listen to the samples of the internal ducts of both Eversolo A6 Master Edition and Eversolo A8. Put a spell on you Because you're mine You better stop the things you do I like No, I ain't liar You know I can't stand it You running around You know better daddy I can't stand it cause you put me down Put a spell on you Because you mine And I don't care if you don't want me I'm yours right now I put a spell on you Because you're mine the differences that I told about? I'm curious about your opinion about that. Also, A8 has a DSP. DSP allows you to equalize the sound however you want, basically. But it's, it has some trade-offs. Whenever I heard systems with DSP, I could never have as much pleasure and immersion as the system that does not rely on DSP, at least in the range other than the bass. 
I believe that DSP is just purely for rescuing situations. If you have such a bad room that nothing will work, then okay, that will help you. However, if you can not use DSP, that will be better option for you, in my book at least. Okay, so now the question is, will I upgrade to the A8? And the answer is no. I don't see value in that. I like the naturalness and the organicness of the A6 Master Edition more, so I will stay with Master Edition version. There is additional option to upgrade the A6 and A6 Master Edition with linear power supply that cost around 300 euros slash dollars and I know that changing it will avoid your warranty. So this is not for everybody. However, there are some shops like for example Audiophonics in France. So if you're from Europe, you can buy the unit directly there with their warranty and they will do the replacement for you in-house. So there's an option for doing that. I will probably order the PSU and I will switch it. And I will also report on how it changes the sound. However, from my experience, linear power supply should add a little bit more detail and it should enhance the sound stage. So probably we can go with saving the character of the A6 Master Edition and widen the sound stage, which would be amazing result. Also, there's a price difference in between the Master Edition and the A8. So with that price range, if you are thinking about in the future upgrading to external DAC and you will use the streamer purely as a streamer, I totally see no point in getting the A8 because you can save some money and get the better DAC later on and you already have a head start because the DAC built into the A6 and A6 Master Edition isn't bad at all. You can happily live with it for a long, long time of course, it will not be as good as separate DAC. Whatever Solo does as a streamer is truly stunning. So even if you keep it as a streamer, that's a great deal. What I would do if I were thinking about upgrading later on in line, I would go for the Master Edition and then I save some money for external DAC. And that's the route I would take. Also, there's one more feature about all ever Solo streamers that you might not know about. It's this thing, you can just buy like 50 bucks external CD reader for the computer, USB driven one, and rip your CDs to the EverSolo streamer, to the drive, or use it as a CD player. And my friend Rafał from HD Audio that I bought the streamer from, told me that he visited his customer with EverSolo streamer and such a little device and they compared it against dedicated CD player costing around $8,000 and ever solo with this little thing sounded better as a source than $8,000 CD player dedicated one. So there's plenty of headroom on this ever solo to be truly truly amazing. And which one you select depends on your needs. So think about your system and if you like the richness, like the organicness and don't need extra detail and soundstage, definitely go for the Master Edition. Don't bother with the A6 at all unless you really, really for a long, long time can't afford the Master Edition. And the difference between A6 Master Edition and A8, well, that depends on your needs, but in my book, I'd say the Master Edition is way more interesting unit than the A8 if you don't need the DSP. So leave me a comment below if you heard the differences and what's your opinion about all those ever solo streamers. I'm sure the next video that YouTube is suggesting to you right now will be also amazing for you. So see you in my next video.